Okay, BBL or natural? Mm. BBL will boss. <laughs> <laughs> Lagos are your village. Ah. In Bayasa, mm. right? You're from uh, Bayasa? Anybody that fix Bayasa, that, <laughs> that mess is sick. <laughs> because, <laughs> Because, because we're actually there, you're not going to grow. Okay. I had to run away because Im- imagine imagine it. I was there for over 20 something years. I was there for like 20 years. And then I was creating content since like 2015, 11, and nothing was happening. I got to Lagos and my first video I created in Lagos skyrockets. Mm. Living room or the bedroom? <laughs> what? <laughs> what, what are we doing living in bedroom? What, what, is, is what do you do? What do you usually oh, do? Okay, okay. Living room or Anyway, bedroom? it depends on how the spirit leads. <laughs> okay. Tunubu or Buari? I beg. None of them, but I will prefer Buari, I beg. <laughs> <laughs> at least, at least dollar was, they, they, were not, they were not going to charge content creator for anything. <laughs> but now. <laughs> but I beg, <laughs> we pay tax. Hi there, it's Ivy, your host on Yeah Yeah Talk, a podcast all about the real honest to goodness conversations right about now I'm, I'm about to introduce to you something slightly different we're going to learn you know learning has to do with continuous growth and development it's about editing content creation and i have with me an amazing personnel in this field to give us a highlight and help us x-ray deep into motion pictures videos and editing Victor Trails in the studio. Good afternoon. afternoon. Welcome. How are you doing? Good. How's the weather? Are you always this calm, gentle? I just... <laughs> yeah, it depends on my mood. <laughs> depends on your mood. Okay, this is your talk and you're welcome to today. Today we want to x-ray editing, how editing has grown over the years yeah. and how to master the craft. Are you with us in this journey? So let's ride. Now, tell us about Victor Charles. Who is Victor Charles? Mm, I would just say just a um, normal person that actually found himself doing um, something different. Like in my, in my everyday life. And then I found out this um, aspect whereby I can actually be different from others to make me, let me say, a bit special. Mm. Because I found out being normal, like people don't actually look at you when you're actually being normal. <laughs> so I just had to switch to something else that was actually out of the box. So yeah, I had to find myself. So how has how has growing up shaped you, your family, and the background shaped you to becoming an amazing editor today? Mm. What was growing up like? So some somehow at least I didn't see at first it was somehow difficult because. We all know these Nigerian parents whereby you try to do something out of <laughs> normal school line. <laughs> and because when I actually started making videos, my yeah. dad was like, mm, I, I don't want to be making this video. Like, get really? Yourself. Outrightly? Like, he wasn't, wasn't <laughs> letting, me, letting me to do those kind of stuff. He wants me to start reading, reading, reading. Normal, like, it doesn't like he yeah. was actually stopping me, but he was thinking that that thing was actually distracting me from my school stuff. So okay. I was like, okay, no problem. But immediately he leaves for work or something. I just pass through the back door. <laughs> I go do my thing, start making videos. Oh, wow. So that was how it was. So until finally, finally, got to one point whereby he actually saw the good part of it. And then I was like, okay, that's when he started supporting me. And, oh, yeah. great. So now, um, from your background, you find out that you're the love for editing and making videos originated yeah. from when you were younger. Yeah. What age is that? That would uh, be... See, flashback to when I actually started. Maybe around 2010, is it? Actually? 10 or 11. How young were you then? Around... Don't worry, we're not calculating your age. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty much young then. Let me just say I was young then. But okay. If I was okay, let me just give you a clear figure. Maybe around nine or ten, something around then. Okay. Yeah. So, but now before before taking uh, before video, were you exposed to all of the gadgets? How did you assess these gadgets? I was not exposed to any any of those gadgets. I just find out, like anything I actually see. Let me just say back then I actually started making craft suits. Um, sports stuff like um, okay. broken radios stuff. I just take scrap. You didn't spoil it. your mama radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! We normally walk around as kids back then. So junior, okay. we also maybe we just see something that was sports. I just pick it and then start finding. Is this is this the motor speed? Normally pick the stuff, pick out the lights, yeah. style in different stuff. So 
I normally make those kind of toys. Where I will try to make cars with um, those condensed parts and then fix out something. There's this particular iron that children used to play with. Is it boring? Is Boris, it? yeah. You did, eh? Ah. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that was like a Homer G back then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's just yeah. get to this kind of stuff. That's what we used to play back then. Tell me your injury from that. From ah. that, right? I never... I you didn't they're, know. All gone, they're all gone by now. now. <laughs> okay, but you had injuries then. Yeah, yeah, probably. Okay, now, amazing. So you were really creative yeah. um, starting from a young age. Now, how is it when mom... You know, all of the things you do, yeah. there's no way pin, razor, needle will not be involved. <laughs> when moms won't wash your clothes, yeah. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't think I'll admit that. <laughs> she got injured different times. Now. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> these children <laughs> because there's no how you do this stuff where you know have razor pin yeah, most times you yeah. forget them in your pocket that's true it's not like, you know like you intentionally want to do that to injure yeah. or something but you just forget that in your pocket and then yeah. you, you leave it there and then when, when your mom tries to watch and then she just put her hand inside the pocket Hi. because they always do that stuff so <laughs> <laughs> sorry <yo. laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> but, but, but when she knew that I was actually because out of everyone my siblings so I was actually the one who was actually into this stuff so she just noticed and then this time that came. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So she doesn't want if she yeah. sees those stuff in my pocket again. Ah. Uh-huh. Uh, no, good so, enough. So I started removing them and then keeping them in somewhere safe. Mm. Good enough. All of those things shaped you yeah. in becoming who you are today. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, who did you look up to when why growing up? If currently too, who do you look up to as far as to be in the world of editing and stuff? Editing. And why? Actually, see, I didn't even had anyone I was actually looking at to. I was just like, actually watching movies. Oh, okay. Because I focused more on Marvel and this, like, American movies, Hollywood. So I saw what they were doing, and then I like, actually like what they were doing. So I just picked up one day. I saw, I just saw someone doing stuff on green screen. I think mm. it was this exploit comedy guy. I saw him was doing stuff on green screen. I was like, I like to do this stuff. So he was telling me that you have to use a laptop to do this. And I had, I had no laptop. Oh. <laughs> so I had to look. Go to my dad, and I started telling him about laptop, laptop, laptop. He said, "Okay." So he got one for me. So I started doing, started mm, learning from there. <laughs> <laughs> no, back then my dad was actually wanting to get us a laptop because he was actually liking this whole computer okay. stuff. So he said, "Okay, he wants to get me that computer so we can start working well." So I said, "Okay." So when I got that laptop, I started using it to do my stuff. So I actually looked, watch a lot of movies, and I was like, I want to do what I was seeing on movies. So in real life, that's basically it. Okay. Oh wow. Now, what? Which? Which of the products? What would you say is the first video that you've created? How was it? The first ever. The first ever was I think it was back when I was in school. There was this trend that time whereby you see someone just run to the wall and then the person will disappear. Hmm. It was basically I was just doing pause and cut. You just pause and play, pause and play. So when you get to the wall, we we'll pause the phone and then we we'll tell you, okay, you can leave. <laughs> then we we'll play. <laughs> So when you see the finish work, it looks like as if someone disappeared. Uh, so it was so it started evolving back to when we started doing reverse video. You see someone walking, then we we'll reverse the clip. So to go back. Yeah. So you be like, ah, oh, how did person do this stuff? Maybe we we'll write something on the floor, and then we we'll use our hand to clean. And then we we'll play reverse. Okay. Then you see that as if it's one kind of big thing. We just want <laughs> editing. No, it's big or big. You know, because you, you know this thing. That's why it's not big. But the way you're saying it means I cannot pick it up like just like that. <laughs> All right. Now, um, in the world of entertainment, me- movie making, film and stuff, yeah. editing plays a great role, right? Yeah, yeah. So what would you say the other aspects of movie making, which one really affects the quality of editing or the final product? Quality of, of editing. Yeah. When it comes to quality, do you mean because there are different aspects of quality? Oh, please educate us on different aspects <laughs> of yeah. quality. Yeah, let me say, starting when, when you talk about editing, editing yeah. actually starts, or let me say, filmmaking starts, um, starts with the idea and then the, the, idea? the cameraman. Definitely. So, someone who's filming with a camera bought like he bought this camera for one million, and then someone who's filming with the camera bought for like um 10 million, yeah, They're actually going to be filming two different stuff. Okay, so so let me just say, editing starts from that part that affects the quality of the end product, yes. So, and also the editor's experience too. Okay, so Someone's the ex- experience yeah, exactly. and the quality of camera. Right? Yeah, so let me say some cameras might be shooting at 1080p, 1080 pixel. Let me just use that word. <laughs> <laughs> then some are shooting at 1080p. Um, four, um, 4K. Um, so it's a higher um, definition of that video. Okay. So someone who's shooting at 1080p, or let me say 720p, which is actually lower. 
and then you might see the quality the two clips one might be clear you might be able to see every pimple on someone's face using the 4k camera to shoot mm. but the one at 720p it might be blurry if you take your time back to videos that were done back in like 90 yeah, yeah, yeah. those videos are somehow blurry compared to now what you're seeing now the qualities are very strong so that's one thing that actually affect the editor and then the editor skill now okay let me say someone's actually let me say nollywood now let me just say this as about nollywood now <laughs> <laughs> Someone's actually making those kind of videos. And I'm not, I'm not saying they're actually bad. Yeah. This kind of person actually making those kind of videos. Versus someone's actually working at Hollywood in America, making mm-hmm. videos for Marvel or DC or any big company over there. There's a difference. You might see the quality. And also, uh, let me just say atmosphere, weather, weather conditions. Okay. Yeah. If if you notice, let me say someone in America might take a picture with his iPhone 11 or iPhone 15. Then that same iPhone, if you bring it to Nigeria and then take a picture, that same person, you see there's a color shift. It's somehow... Because of the weather. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So those kind of things affect. So location, editor's experience, camera quality, and also, Amazing. lastly, the kind of gadget you use to edit. Let me see a laptop or whatever you're using to edit. <laughs> How does it contribute? Is it not the same software? Yeah, the same software, but, but someone who's using a smaller laptop to work. Okay. Yeah, it's, it tends to stress you. Most times, it might not pay attention to detail. Mm. If you're using a laptop that is actually, let me say, a bit cheap and that doesn't have enough um, RAM or something, GPUs. Mm. It's maybe, affected. Yeah, it affects because you might, you might try to want to preview something and then sometimes maybe when you export, you might not see some of the errors. If you, if you play something that like, with a cheap laptop, now let me say the laptop is not that strong, you might take your time to preview. You as an editor, you get tired. It's true. And then you, you might just want to just those... skip, 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 go. I but someone has a good laptop, you just press play and then it goes, it sees everything. You can easily spot his mistake. But most of those people are actually using the slower laptop. It's when you actually finish exporting your workouts and then that's where you start seeing your mistake. And then be like, ah, I have to go back again and start working. Start working from the beginning. You finish just, just correct those errors and then start again. So that's it. Okay, now, do you, do you think that editors should have storytelling and creative skills? And then how does it boost their final product? Yeah, yeah, you should have that because one of the best ways for you to communicate with those actually watching is the way you tell your story. Mm. So let me, uh, if I make a comparison with somebody like Mr. Beast, I can sit down all day and watch Mr. Beast from start mm. till end because of the way he edits. Okay. But uh, I don't know if there's actually someone else I might want to make comparison with, but I don't actually make, want to make any comparison. <laughs> but that, that's, that's yeah. one thing about storytelling. Okay. Mr. Beast might tell you that in this video, we're going to be giving out 20 Lamborghinis. And in the video, you will actually see 20 Lamborghinis. But let me just say, somebody over here now doing that same content, you just say, um, in this video, we're going to be giving out 20 Lamborghinis. You just see the text, you just try to text 20 Lamborghinis. <laughs> but in, La, in Mr. B's video, yeah. like, you see pictures of 20, like, yeah. you, you see 20, actually real 20 Lamborghinis okay. there. It might be CGI or VFX, you might not know. Oh. So that's the difference with storytelling. Mm. So when my, when, let me say, he's talking about something that will pass passing through this tunnel, you'll be seeing in a tunnel, but some people just pictures of tunnel, tunnel. Oh. maybe it's a stock footage. So those two things actually play a good role. So you need to be good at storytelling. And to keep the, at, at Yeah, it. yeah. To keep your viewers actually pinned to your content. Exactly. That's one thing about it. Okay. Now, in the talking about content in the, this world, a lot of things has changed. Yeah. Almost everybody's a content creator. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, so how do you think or how do you think people, this content creator, make their videos? appealing through editing or how should they make their content appealing through editing there are different ways to make it appealing but it all boils down to the level of skill and also the idea you you can imagine like it's not limitation as far as you can think you can yeah. create that's one thing mm. so people actually employ different say it again ways. as far as you can think yeah. you can create yeah. so, so, <laughs> so your limitation is actually your imagination so I might just come now and say, okay, I want to create a video by everything here. We'll pull out everything and then we'll start falling from the sky. Hmm. So it's from the idea. Yeah. So you can yeah, think, as far as you can think, you can also create that. So basically, if you want to actually um, skyrocket stuff now, your ideas actually be what will play a good role and also your skill level. So that's one thing I think we should actually look into. Okay. In editing, I guess there are softwares and apps that help bring out the visuals, right? Yeah, yeah. So which of these apps would you suggest and which ones would give a more appealing results to the viewers? Okay, we can talk okay. about phone first and then okay. laptop use it, depending on the guy. Yeah, for phones, I think the ones actually trending now for phones are actually strong now is CapCut. CapCut. Yeah, it's actually a free app, okay. but it also comes with watermark at the end of the video. 
But back then, the ones I was using were just um in shorts, Viva video, video shows, Wonder Share. But now CapCut is actually gaining ground. Like it's actually like the number one for phone. So CapCut, um, Kind Master. Spell Kind Master because maybe some people want to check it out. K I N E then M A S T E R. Oh, so Kind, kind master. master. We have Kind Master. We have Kind Master Pro. Okay. So the Pro version actually has what the normal version does not have. So okay. maybe maybe basically you have to pay for it. That's just it. So then when it comes to laptop, they're actually different software which they actually have different activities. Like for me, I use um Filmora. I use Premiere Pro, but I basically based on Filmora, Filmora, Filmora. X. Okay. And then for like what I do, Vitra Effects most. I use After Effects for that. And then sometimes if I want to do some kind of um CGI or 3D stuff, I can actually use Blender. Which has, okay. I'm still actually in the process of learning it because I'm not that strong in it. A particular one. Yeah, yeah, it's actually strong. So and so for those who actually want to focus into like making color, like let me say you're a colorist. Okay. You can actually like color grading. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, is this? I don't know the actual name. I don't know if they actually call it Da Vinci or or Da Vin. Okay, Da, da Vinci. Vinci. Oh, oh, I don't. They actually call it different. Names. People actually pronounce it differently. So that's for color. So for color is most they mostly is that for color. You can also do that with Premiere Pro too. So that's just basically it. And there are other software, but these are just the major ones people mostly use. Then, except you want to diversify into, diversify into, like, that's just that's the software. All right. So now, to, as a beginner, what would be your advice? How can I start, start as a beginner, as an editor? What is the first step? It depends and on the... all the steps. I want to become an editor. <laughs> okay. It depends on what level of editing you want to be doing. Because if you just want to be an editor, it also depends on the app. There are different, like you see, there are different softwares you can use. You can use Premiere Pro, you can use Final Cut. There's also okay. Final Cut. You can use um that DaVinci to also do your cuts and join, and so on. There are so many softwares, but these are the, like the three major ones I know for cuts and. Join. So I should jo- I should first of all be familiar with the applications necessary. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, step Software. one. Yeah. What so else? once once you you go with that, maybe probably before you even get to that part, you also already learn how to shoot. Remember, you can learn how to shoot to your phone. Wait. Must you be, what's the relationship between shooting and editing? Or must you be able to shoot before you edit? Is yes. there a criteria? Yeah, um, no, you can actually skip the process, but it depends on where you want to land. Okay. So let me just say, if you want to just be an editor, you can just yes. tell the person to bring the clip and then you start editing. Okay. Yeah, okay. But, but most times, if, as an editor and you want to be like a creative person in storytelling, you as the, the editor, you might have an, one idea whereby the person shooting does not oh, have no. that idea. Oh, I get so it. might be the one to communicate that, okay, I want you to shoot it this way. I want you to shoot it like this because I want to make a transition. Mm. Because I want to make a transition whereby the camera comes out from the door. So if the, if the okay. editor doesn't have that idea, you just shoot it straight. Just like that. So you also need to get the idea about shooting so you can actually um, actually make some effects to work well for you. Like some transition. If, if it's not shot well, you can actually achieve this stuff. Oh, amazing. Okay, so... um. Shoot it. What else? What else? What other skills should I get? Mm, as basically, if you know how to shoot, and yeah. then you can do your editing. I think that's just basically for just editors. Then, if you want to further to another level, that's when let me say you want to become a colorist. Then you need to start understanding lights and um, temperature, weather condition. Okay. Yeah, those stuff, kind of stuff matters a lot. So definitely, you also need to get familiar with your cameras and shooting too. Mm. Those are, I think, those are the parts you need to know too. Thank you very much. Now, now back to editing. Yeah. Let's say, what did did you did you school? Did you study editing, or did editing just find you? Nah, I didn't school. It was online. YouTube. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so how was the learning process? It was somehow, but somehow back then it was actually fun compared to now. Okay. Because most of the stuff I actually passed, most of the videos I watched back then, right now. It, They've like bundled it and then seize it. Like most of them has, has been deleted. Some of them actually crop their stuff and change it to course. Wow. Things change. Like I think 2017 was actually the grace period for almost the whole world. Because that back then you see a lot of tutorials, you see some stuff, how to do this stuff. You see like 10 different stuff on how to do it. And you see longer tutorials back then. But now people just want to spend short time and then get what they want. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. so many of those old school teachers, they were actually teaching this stuff on YouTube. They've actually um taken that tutorial into course, so now you have to pay to pay. get it. So a lot of things have changed. So I, I, I there, were, there was one tutorial I actually watched back then. I remember the stuff, like how to make heat vision or firestorm. So when I got back to YouTube, I checked. I couldn't find that particular person. Couldn't find. Mm-hmm. I, I looked for his name because 
the only part I saved in was I had my laptop. I saved over 1,000 videos. Wow. <laughs> so I was just downloading, really just downloading, downloading. If I see a video and I like it, I just download it. I kept all of them. So, because I know I, maybe I might come back. Mm. Because to get data back then, I was still young. <laughs> <laughs> to get data back then, I was just doing nine, so I had not, <laughs> like, no source of income, not nothing, nothing. I was just doing that yeah. back then. So, that was just it. Oh, so great. basically YouTube. YouTube. Shout out to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's look at um, how long does it take an editor to complete a skit, yeah. um, a musical video, yeah. and a full-length film? Well, What's the duration like? It all depends on the, what I say, the idea behind the video. Oh. Yeah. Someone wants to shoot the video, like, let me say, Avatar, this is James Cameron now. Mm. They, they filmed the video and then it took them close to seven years to make the video. That's because of the level of complexity of the work and wow. gadgets available, hands to work. So it depends on the idea behind the video. Someone wants to build one story building, but someone wants to be 30 story building. Exactly. It's different. The Definitely. budgets, are, everything is actually different. So it just depends on the idea behind the video, what you want to achieve. So that's just it. Okay, but now let's let's come back to Nigeria, the Nigeria skate makers. How yeah. long do you think they did their videos each uh, episode? Some of them I shoot now and then you get in like two hours. <laughs> like there was one day I remember I shot one video. Is it for is it in Bakara? We shot the video at this place in the afternoon, like around twelve. I got to my around five. He has already posted the video. But <laughs> 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 or someone like me was into VFX, like I don't shoot the video today and then get it. Get it. Ah, what what's what's the disadvantage of having that rush videos come out? The, the most times it's just like, like just like like the idea. Oh, the idea is yeah, shallow, yeah, just that's shallow, why. just simple. But most of those ideas, those kind of videos, can easily trend because it's just something like easy to relate with, just normal life. Mm, just life. But I might want to it. do that normal life activity too in VFX, but it will not take twenty four hours. Not it might take me a week. Today, today, yeah, depends on because let me say I want to make a video where someone is falling. I want to break something. So let me say your mom is chasing you, and then she throws the slippers at you, and then the slippers start chasing you all around. Mm. It might take me one full day to make that thing. Yeah, but those other skit makers might just, they, maybe they might find an easier way to do it. They might just take that slippers and put it in front of the camera and then move in the camera. But someone like me, I'll just keep my camera still and then I'll, I'll, have, to, I'll have to animate the slippers moving, like flying through the compound. Just it. So the difference, the difference is there. Okay, so tell us the different aspects of videos and yeah. editing. We talked about VFX. Yeah. So tell us more about. If I should say VFX, most times people actually get confused. So because VFX actually broad, it's actually into different parts. Okay, so just but let me just see the top heads. Okay. Let me say VFX is actually like if I should explain. Um, let me see. Like a, I'm a three years old, three year old. <laughs> Please explain because I really okay, need this knowledge break it as down. well. You want everyone to understand? <laughs> yeah. If you go to the, most of these TV stations or the normal ones you see, you see green screen. There, this green background behind people. Let me show you sitting here now. Let me just say this backdrop here. This black stuff mm. is actually green. So if I'm a VFX artist now, once we finish shooting. Okay. I can just easily take this video and then just remove the green screen and then place by, behind the video. I just place um, a purple wall or another wall or maybe shares behind just picture. That's just VFX. I can easily put, I can easily raise my hand like this and then start putting fire in my hand. But in real life, it's not actually there. That's VFX. Okay. Yeah. Then there's another part called CGI. CGI. Yeah. Computer generated image. Okay. So basically, VFX is actually visual effect. Then CGI is computer generated image. Okay. So. Okay. That one is basically more of 3D. I might, this mic you see here now, in CGI now, I can just put a long rope, let me just say a rod here, it's green color, and then put one round thing here. But when, when, during the post-production, I will change this whole thing to this mic, so you might not oh. know. If you watch most video, like, um, if you see the one TJ Romero, you normally make, this new video I did to Ashake, whereby you see one, there's a wolf walking inside one, um, you see vault, a money vault mm. behind Ashake, you see a wolf walking behind him. So those are CGI. That's, so it's not real. It's not real. So those are 3D interpreted image. Then we have the SFX. The SFX is the one which is a special effect. It's the one whereby you see those makeup artists whereby you just see one, they'll put one blood mark in someone. Maybe. But their head is out. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. Where is their head? Is it, <laughs> what happened? It's, those are props. Those are not, like they're manicured. They're not actually human. Really, man. They just no, no. Like I, I would see an actor full, yeah. and then I would see their cut stuff, and and that's combination of both VFX and CGI. Oh. In real life, if it's S um, SFX, you can actually cut someone's head off. 
because they might be, they might just fix the um, they might build the model and then put a prop and then they will continue with some um, rope or something mm. to make it look like as if it's real. But at the end of the day, they might also blend add in VFX to put some blood splash to make it look more realistic for you to believe that it's actually like someone had actually pop up. If you could check this guy, there's this guy called I think I know is it Hakim Effect? Okay, Hakim Effect. Yeah, yeah that guy yeah. is good with all yeah. the stuff. Very scary and so very. He knows how to do this stuff very well. I have this friend. Is it Maris? She, Maris. She, she's also good with this stuff. When it comes to blood, you see how like she's good with this stuff. Just make it the work yeah. of an editor. No, no, no. She's a SFX artist. Okay. So she just easily put all this stuff in. Wait. And then... So an editor is even from S S what? <laughs> SFX. Artist. <laughs> the special effect. Yeah, yeah. It's different. Yeah. Spe- wow. Um, SFX is actually live. You're doing it live on set. Okay. But editor is doing post production. He takes it back and they start doing the cut and join. But SFX artist is live on set. Those blood, you see splash. It might be some pumping machine they wait. So immediately you just say, okay, bab, you do this gun scene. Remember, you shoot someone. SFX artist, you just press the pressure pump okay, and then the blood okay, comes okay, out. Okay, you okay. Like ah, okay, blood is coming okay. out. So that's what they did. Add some extra scene and then put that blood. You can see if it's real there. But just um, edit, um live editing. That's how I put it like. <laughs> you guys are wizard. <laughs> I mean, I'm learning. That's it. Okay. Now, with all of the stress you people go through, that means you guys are earning million and billion. So how is the <laughs> financial value to an editor and all of this? Well, it depends on the level. Oh. That was one. Level of your skill, two. And then the level of how people know you popularity versus the people you work with. Let me get, if I should land myself in Nigeria now. Yeah, in Nigeria now. Uh, no, I'm just, <laughs> no, <laughs> no one Nigerian standard. Yeah. Someone who's working, let me just say, an editor in Lagos versus an editor in, should I say, let me just say, um, let me just, where Nollywood is, as about any going other state. Someone working in Lagos can charge you 50K for one minute video. If you go down to other states, 5, let me see. It's exactly. 5,000. But in that same state, someone might be, might also be charging 50K because it's big. It's popular. Yeah. Same thing with Lagos. Okay. Someone might also be charging 100K to do one minute video too. So that's the thing. So does fee make, does fee result to quality video? Does yeah. the amount you paid yeah, yeah, yeah. translate to the quality video? Yeah. Does it? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Someone wants to pay. Someone wants to pay two hundred k for one minute video. Versus someone wants to pay um thirty k for one minute video. I I just use my phone to shoot that one minute video for thirty k. And then someone wants to pay two hundred k. Like your mind will tell you now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but some people don't get conscious. They will still uh, use the. They, will, they, will, they, will, they will still use the they will, phone. They will not come back. They will not come back with you know. That's that, that that that's business that's now. That's because business. if if I see the quality now, the quality is not gonna. I pay you so much money. And I say, ah, this other person is giving me good quality, and I pay. Like, I will just go to that person because you don't want to affect your client's work. Definitely. Because it's also your reputation too. You're posting as your portfolio. You want to show them. You want to show that okay, I did this stuff. If I see this stuff and then it's not looking good, I'll just say, ah, no, 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 I cannot pay you for this job now. I'll not, I'll not call you for another job again. That's, That's just true. It. Now you have amazing followership on Instagram. Hey. I mean, so what? What exactly do you? What? What exactly do you sell? What's your creative process? Tell I us sell. everything. I sell. Like, Advertise yourself. <laughs> I sell multiple stuff. I sell content. My content. Yeah. My freelancing skill, my VFX freelancing skill. Mm. And yeah, I do sometimes I also make ads. So people actually pay me to make these ads. And then, yeah, so I, I basically combine my creative um content skill, content creating skills, and yeah. then my VFX together to make those ads. So it's basically like three things in one. So I freelance there, I make content there, and then advertise there too. Amazing. Yeah, so that's like three in one. If you had to shoot a musical video yeah. or a movie, yeah. Which would you prefer to edit and why? I choose movie. Why? Movie 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 might take long to make, but it's worth the time and it pays higher than music video though. But some music videos are actually um good. Sometimes they might pay higher too. It depends it also depends on what you want in that music video and it also depends on what you want in the movie. If I was to shoot super story <laughs> <laughs> versus I was to shoot a series like um yeah. so what, what, what let me see is it Anicola? let me just say that let me just give one episode of one movie and then this Anicola cool is it Anicola okay cool? I don't know hey this is all that movie, Kula, was, Kula, yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Anicola, but, yeah that movie now if you see that if you check that movie that's a beat set 
They had, they to, had go, to be said, yes. Yeah, making a movie cost, cost a lot to build. And same thing with music video too. Music video might somehow be a bit easy for just a day, but there are sets they might build and it's very expensive. You see that one, the video said they spend about 100 and something million to shoot one video. That same money can be used to shoot a movie too, Netflix too. Okay. Yeah, so it all depends on the idea behind what you want to achieve. I don't want to beat set. I don't want to beat this. I want to beat this. I want to add this cast. I want to pay somebody. I want to... By the end of the day, it's what the director wants. So that pays. So if someone wants to build a, a big set, but someone who just wants to just push it, it's two different prices. So you just need to pick one, um, the one that's actually paying higher. So I definitely I have to pick videos because they pay higher. <laughs> but it actually takes long to make, a long time to make. But it's actually worth the shot. Okay. Good. So now, what has kept you going as an editor? Mm. It's basically, I mean, so I motivate myself and also the kind of work I do, the people I work with, because everybody's actually pushing and you don't want to be behind ah, the crowd. definitely. And the, the friends I have, almost everybody's creating content, everybody's evolving, so I don't want to be left behind. <laughs> so, so you'll carry last. And sometimes when I, when I wake up, I come online and then see my videos picking up and then mm. so you see the comments even if you do the currency yeah, you're not getting enough views but those those comments you see like someone might see your video today and then get motivated to start creating content absolutely so you're if I if, absolutely. So I'm tired I don't want to do I don't want to make this stuff again but if I just give up now it's not just a lot of people will give yeah, up yeah a lot well. of people because someone it was actually, I saw someone video and then I actually picked up and then I started making videos it was, there, was, there, was, there was I think I made a story at one time and then it got over 200,000 views so people are actually watching it. So imagine 200,000 people want to sit down to listen to watch your video. So that's it. So my video got like 1 million views on Insta, um, on Facebook. So something. So those are the stuff that actually keep me moving. Okay, now I'm talking about these platforms where you sell these um, videos. Yeah. Which is your favorite? Rank them in order. For like Money what, making, popularity, views, and um, okay. if I should say rank them. Popularity, I say Facebook. I got more grants on Facebook. Okay. More views on Facebook. Then when it comes to money making, social media actually give me more money. It should be Instagram. Oh, wow. Because that's where I get a lot of people from. Then when it comes to social media money making, it's YouTube. YouTube pays okay. like... Have you started exploring YouTube? Yeah, YouTube, YouTube is actually paying me. Oh, you've monetized your account? Yeah. How was it? How was the process like? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. YouTube was one of the one of the hardest places I first because back in twenty when I started creating content I was creating I was doing comedy skit back then but I was making video nobody was watching you see people would drop a comment you do haha you check the view. you see like three comments when you check the view zero views you be like wait, you, wait till you can't watch wait till you uh-huh. do that. So I'll have to go back and question them like what did you watch you guys say, okay <laughs> let me go and watch it now so I started looking for. <laughs> That's why the thing was very frustrating. That's because sure. also the area where I was was actually affecting me. Okay. Social media there was somehow like backdated because I was actually in Bayesa before. So okay. it was somehow for me growing there. Because that place creating content is not easy and then mm. people deal with, they, they don't want to Nigerian mentality. They, they feel like social media vary. Facebook cuts less data. Oh. Facebook cuts less, <laughs> less, less data and then That's Instagram true. it's a bit higher. <laughs> Then on YouTube. Twitter, is the so, worst. So they prefer to watch yeah. your video on Facebook. Facebook, yeah. But it was still hard to get that place. Then YouTube. So it, 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 I actually got to the requirement. I got the uh, requirement. The day I applied, the next day I got, got back, they deleted my channel. It was very depressing. Because so you know what it takes to create content. You already got to the requirement. That there are 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. I even got like 2,000 subscribers. What the, I got like 5,000 watch hours. They deleted my channel. And then I asked them, why did you guys do my channel? They didn't tell me. Say for some unseen or unseen that we cannot explain to you. Ah, uh-uh. I was depressed back then. Eh? But luckily That's for me, I had to like three days. I had to pick up again, start creating again. I, I, so that means you created another account. Yeah. Funny enough, I had to create multiple channels. They deleted, deleted, deleted. I was coming back. So I just took myself. I went back one day. <laughs> my, my other brother was like, because you're not praying, <laughs> you're, you're going late to church. I was like, ah. Oh no. I said, so I was like, is it <laughs> God that's spiritual. attacking me? <laughs> So it was somehow for me. So, but when I had to go to church, funny enough, that Sunday, our pastor was actually talking about something about, say, where, where there are policies, you disobey the policies and then you expect things to work. Like, they say, do not pass here. Mm. You see, you know, do not unite here. You went to unite there and then I'm start beating you or something. You start saying, ah, oh, God, is it, you know? But it was a simple policy. There was yeah. simple instruction there. You disobey. I said, okay. Then I had to go back to my channel. I had to go back to read the YouTube terms and conditions, read everything. And mind you, I was violating many policies. Like, oh. 
back to class. So, <laughs> I copyright didn't, music, he didn't this. Know. It was just going, ah, the thing was somehow. So I said, okay, I started reading, reading, I started understanding. Okay. And the, one of the cool about YouTube that YouTube actually gives you a class whereby you see everything. If you make a mistake, they will educate you on this is where you made a mistake. They started updating every February, they started updating people. Uh, started educating their creators because they don't want us to lose our channel. Mm. Because true us, they are making their money. So we are also That's making true. their money for them. They don't want to lose us. We don't want to lose them. Vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I started learning and then started getting things back, back, back. And then I think like two years later, I got monetized again. Okay. And since then to now, it's been good. You've been, you've been riding in money. <laughs> that's, another, that's another phase of hardship because because of the freelance work I do it's actually taking my time um, so it's breaching the whole thing so imagine the whole like this whole year and I've no I just made only one video this, like this is like six months gone and just one video just one video no it's funny enough, taking your time yeah funny enough when I made the video I just got like just 3k views when I posted it I was really bad a few days ago I just got back and checked the video as, that was on Facebook though got like 140,000 views Whoa. So that's one thing about Facebook. It can also happen to YouTube too. So it's... But is your Facebook monetized? What was the process like? I was monetized, but it demonetized me. Facebook is one of What did you do? Shows. They say I'm because I'm in Nigeria. So basically, you're not allowed to do it in Nigeria. You know, so that's why most of this people you actually see earning on Facebook. Yeah. They're actually getting someone outside the country to stand like an admin for them. And then that's the process. You pass through. Yeah. So they have to pay. So, like a they have to pay a minimum fee. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. Yeah. Now, in the field of editing, what, what's that moment that gives you joy? This ecstasy you feel when you do this work? Think, what's that? I think it's when you see the finished work. When you're done. Oh, how do you smile? What's the reaction? <laughs> <laughs> what's the reaction like? It's, it's joy all around now because <laughs> like you, you, when you start shooting, you get the idea, you start shooting on that hot sun, you finish yeah. everything. That cut, you know, cut and draw, and your VFX, your sound design, background music, and then let me say, I say you even finish editing, and then you 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 export, and then you see the final work is all good, mm. and then you also post it online, and then you you're not getting any copyright, you're not getting any issue, everything just uh, all good. And then again, you start seeing that views. Ah, ah. Thanksgiving. <laughs> yes, I'm doing the right thing. Okay, now why why being excited? Which of these Nigerian skit makers would you like to work with, and why? Mm, skip the makers. Yes. Mm, yeah, None. No, 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 no. I'm just looking at there, there are many. There are oh, many. there are many. Okay, you can give us a top three. Let me just see. I would like to work with is it Tauma? Tauma. Okay, Tauma. Why? General. Um, because her, I kind of content she's making now. Yeah. It's almost same line with mine. Okay, you have like minds. Yeah, yeah. I see that combat. I see VFX. Mm. I see like she's. She's linking out with people and then the kind of content you make mad, mad content. I see those VFX, I see those stuff. So I do like to like if I see you making this kind of content, I definitely want to dive into it. Okay, Collaborations is good. Who else yeah. would you want to collaborate with or work with? Sounds speedy. Why? Mm-hmm. Sounds <laughs> Sounds speedy is actually someone who's actually into that field too. Makes longer content, yeah. large audience space, and also exposure is actually broad. Like Sansweet is actually at that level. When you and when it comes to audience level, it's like when you say top ten YouTubers in Nigeria, I would say let me say top five. It's among the yeah. sets of people. So if you should make content with this kind of person, it exposes you, bring more people to you, and Definitely. then yeah, it's a and then the general. If you, if you should check this video, is uh, I think he made one series. He dead trip. I watch his video. You see that like he has this idea. I haven't watched one video. He did. He said he had this idea to he just like someone someone like me. Yeah, but you have this idea to start creating VFX, all this kind of stuff. But you have to look, you have to start working hard and then start making, when you start making money, you have to get some VFX artist, um, you know, editor, to start making those videos for him. So, okay, well, all, he, so, had, so he had thinks had of the idea. Previously. Yeah. yeah he and then somebody mind. just put it out. To yeah, life. yeah, yeah. So it, it took some time. Back then when he was in Benin, then he moved to Lagos. Yeah. So it took some time and then he got here yeah, and then he found the person. And then, so those ideas, as far as I can think of the idea, he tells the editor, "This is what I want to say. Okay, this is how we do it." And, and then the person just brings it to land. Me. Oh, so when you see the when you see the creativity, there yeah, yeah. it's just amazing. That's just it. Okay, in musical videos, in musical videos, mm. people I would like to work with. Yeah. Um, who are the directors? I don't know him much, me, but yeah, I would like to work with Joe Mori. Mm. Uh, Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, because Ready, no. 
<laughs> yeah, I like to work uh, more with WG Films because okay. yeah, I've been learning a lot from him. From him. Because yeah, uh, some of his project, he brings some of his project to me, and then work on some of his project, and then oh, you've you know, collaborated with him before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So awesome. So I've learned a lot working with him because one of these di- one one thing working with this director is it's like they are putting you, they are putting you in their shoes because the, their work, the, like they are passing their energy through you. Oh, okay. So you they need seem, to represent. Yeah, exactly. So if you're working with any director, you say this director, you did stuff for this director. Then that means the director, you must have sit with the director, the director must yeah. have put the idea in your head. Definitely. And then you would start learning new stuff. You work with different people. So working with these people is actually amazing. And then, yeah, those are people I would like to work with. As about wood. Oh, I know they're good here. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're good They don't match the energy. I don't, oh, I don't want to go there because what? But, but have you seen sometimes you just say spirit, the way the, the spirit just. Spirit is it not part of the VF? Their own spirit. If you see Asaba, not the spirit. The spirit normally looks the road before they cross. So. Yeah. But if you see normal movie, imagine spirit wants to cross, start looking left or right. There are a lot of things you see there that will make you, ah, you think just somehow, there's so many mistakes that they want to correct. And the reason is because they don't want to spend money. I remember okay. one guy from Asaba, he contacted me, he's one, is he, Ibo, is he one guy director like that? So he contacted me that he wants to give me a job. He actually contacted my friend, my friend said he was busy, so he sent it to me. So he said he wants this dragon, he wants somebody to turn into an antelope, he wants a forest, he wants the things we call heavy, heavy stuff. So dragon to antelope too. So, so I said this thing were heavy. So I had to contact my other friend who was really good in CGI. So he start cracking the brain. So he said okay. <laughs> he said he's he said okay, the total charge would be like um like one point five million, something like that. That was the estimate. <laughs> The guy said, eh? He said, I don't understand. He said, you guys are coming to shoot the full movie. Oh, I said, that's the stuff now. The stuff, he said, he said in his entire life, he has not paid anyone doing VFS that amount. Say, ah. Uh, say, the highest he has ever paid the other guy was like 200K. Said, uh, For Dragon and... <laughs> my friend said, this is not my blocking. <laughs> I said, okay. I said, this is not my... So I started explaining to him. He got to the point where the guy said, the guy said saying I was disrespecting him. I was like, it's like you don't understand the process. <laughs> no, yeah, he, he doesn't. If you start arranging this stuff now, your you, your computer, yours, you ain't one. Your fan, like the heat coming out of your computer, mm. you can use it to warm food. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine buying one computer, your laptop of like three million, and they start arranging, and then your yeah. smoke start coming out. Oh, and then wow. the person wants to pay two hundred k, and that laptop is three million. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what that? about the 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 one where you have the snake? Snake. In their movies. Um, You've seen Python. Mm. Python, we... Uh, <laughs> they, 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 did, they did that with VFX now. That's, that's the thing. They probably have some editors because most time It's not like these editors, they will actually want to settle for less. It's just because the environment, mm. they're not exposed. And then most of them feed from there. You've not gotten any job in, a, in like two months. So someone say he wants to pay you for to do that sneak. 200,000. Yeah, I thought I thought I'm bad past now. I don't want to steal. I don't want, I have <laughs> skills. So let me just utilize my skill. That's just the thing. But honestly, that guy that wanted the change from dragon to <laughs> But if you were if you were to get that job, how long will it take you to? It will take months. So my friend For real? Yeah. But the movie comes out like in two weeks. Yeah, that's a so now. that means you Man, will, you you will... come back. That's what, that's what I'm saying. It's the quality stuff. Like I just gave an example of that James Cameron. It took yeah. seven years to beat Avatar. Mm, yeah. mm. And till today that movie is among top three gross like mm. Cost billions, then they made billions back from from the movie. Cost mi- millions to make, and they made billions from the movie. So imagine, imagine making two billion dollar. I think Avengers End Endgame brought like two billion dollar. So that kind of money, that that's enough money to even shape Nigeria. Say, <laughs> it's that, but only that our politician. Yeah. Let's not go to that part. <laughs> So that, yeah, that's basically it. So, but those are Sabah, they we just want to just yeah. do the chap chap and then come out. Everything at minimal effort. Exactly. Okay, now for you, if I, if somebody wants to shut you down and yeah. pay you for full services, yeah. I mean, that's the only job a nine to five. Would you take? And on what offer base would you likely take? I like I like my what's it called? I like being free. Because like if someone wants like to give me a nine, nine to five now, because yeah. I've done a nine to five before. If Especially I'm, on the VFX. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't want to about me is that I like being free. That's one. I don't want to start working for somebody at the end of the day, forget my own dreams, my own career. Mm. Because at any point, this is someone else's idea. You're, you're using your energy to feel that person's idea. So if this person might come up one day and then be like, you know what, you're fired. Or I might see someone who's better than you. Because one thing about working for somebody is that you might be great, but it will be slow. 
to be slow. Yeah, because once you start working, there will be no time to learn. That's, that's once. That's why I say I was actually I'm trying to learn my new software called Blender, but it's taking time because I'm doing multiple work and then no time to learn. So one of the best way you can actually learn though is by using the software. But if the if what is brought to your table does not require that um software, you might you might not go to that software. You still go to the one which you are already familiar with. So doing a nine to five to me, I would say no. Even if, except I just want to do it for a specific period of time because I need I just need the money to ten get MP. Ah. Not bad, man. <laughs> this guy. This want, guy. It's not that bad now. You need the money now. Okay. If they pay you, if they pay you that one, like, I can say, okay, no problem. I will just post my own thing. I just but if I get this money for some period of time, get this money yeah. for some period of time for like six or how many months, I know, okay, you extend them for six months. Ah, uh, money. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> one house oh. for like eh, he go rich <laughs> <laughs> it, might, it might get to some I've seen some house for like 50 million though but down that way not it's self-contained it's not like it's self-contained if you want to buy the house I know one person I bought a house for around 80 million now so self-contained it, not self-contained like multiple, three bedroom or oh, something like multiple rooms multiple okay. room, like six rooms Room, six room. okay yeah. uh, now I mean it's a lot of creativity and yeah. um, all work and no play makes a very dull boy. So how do you ease off stress? Hmm. No. <laughs> oh, which, what do you I play might, with? I might, just, I might just come outside and then just run. Or maybe I might just go. Like I, some of my, I think some of my free time, just make crazy videos. Oh, okay. There so was, why, you relax with your creativity again. You're not relaxing now. <laughs> yeah, somehow, that, that, that's fun. I just come out because sitting as an editor, you sit down for, for long. Mm. No, if you ask any editor, are you feeling back pain, waist pain? Sure. If they tell you they're not feeling any pain, that means uh, that means that person maybe that person is a newbie or the okay. system, because most of it, most of the editor you definitely might be feeling back pain, waist pain. So most of them I just come out stretch, turn, I might start watching movies, just watch some movies sometimes. And then, or maybe I might just sleep because um, we hardly sleep. Mm, that's Due true. Creativity, you might want to deliver. It you might be mm, checking online yeah. to make research. Because the editing is also very addictive. Once once I just wake up, I just brush my teeth, eat, and then sometimes you also editing, you forget to eat. <laughs> when you start feeling hungry, when you start feeling the pain, because you start feeling the pain, your back, you, yeah. you start reacting. I did, you just remember. Uh, I'm, not not eating not eating. I'm not eating today. That's why if you check most of these editors, you just go to it, you see this junk food, you see drink, ah, kind of stuff, you eat, 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 it's because yeah. consume. Those screen light, you really like, they also get glasses to wear to have mm. all this stuff. This, that's one of the things you notice. So most times these are stressed. Maybe you might just sleep. That sleep, uh, you get enough time to sleep. It's very good. Okay, now, um, do you have someone that massages, massages, I mean, just a massage, you know? <laughs> uh, there's, no, there's nobody. There's, why is that? Because, <laughs> how would I even put it? Put it the way it is. <laughs> so let me just go to the plain, plain definition is that most of these people that are actually coming close to you now yeah, are actually there because of your creativity. Not just that. money. Of your money. The level you ah. set in and then because back then if, if, that, if you just take that in a way you know, everybody will find their level. I still remember back then when I was still getting to this craft and everything. And you were looking for love then. Oh, but you did not. get it. <laughs> The one, that, the one that actually say, okay, we love you. After some time, when there's no money, when they ask you. Yeah. Oh, no, there's nothing, there's nothing. But definitely, if I, if I want, I do get when I, if I, if I want, I can okay. easily get. But at the end of the day, when you, when you discover you're just spending money to get this thing again and again, so you still have to go back to the real process. It's not, you feel somehow because it's, I guess, yeah. after the money and not actually liking you or something. But there, uh, there's someone actually like you. Oh, tell <laughs> us about what are the features. <laughs> what? I know, but so what? What? What do you look? At? I mean, what do you look at? What makes you fall in love? If I, let me say, um, the person has to be a bit at least independent. The person must bring to... something to the table. <laughs> <laughs> Stay home, <with> that. <laughs> Stay home, <with> that. <laughs> no, no, no. At least, at least on your own. Yeah. Like you, you should be. <laughs> You should be well to do for yourself, like even without. So you're not me. a traditional man. I'm, I'm not a traditional man. Like you know, don't like, want that. You don't want that masculinity. Like you yeah. take care of everything. You know, no, no. I do. The yeah, definitely, def- no, definitely. No, definitely. I will take care of everything. It's not like the kind of wife where you just marry your wife and then the person when you're not at home, this person cannot even take care of one single bill. Light bill, you cannot take care of. 
Yes. It's kind of thing. Just little, little things. At least the person should be doing something because okay. it's not every day that will be man that will be falling from it. There will be, there will be hard times whereby <laughs> your husband will not be able to provide anything. So if the wife is able to provide, eh, eh, it will be balancing. At least it's not like the man will just sit back. The man will get back. So there might be time whereby there will be no food in the house. We know that feeling as a man whereby let me say you lost your job. There's nothing that you you go out you go you've gone out to look for a job all the whole day and then you sweating then you come back and in your mind you be like ah there's no food though. I I did not drop money at home for my wife mm. when you get there your wife has already provided oh. ah. so that's one advantage yeah. it might look as if because everybody most of the girls and they they want to like get somebody who's like who's already made and yeah. has all the money and uh, ah but there will be times where it's bad though most okay. likely. So to balance off things. Yeah. So yeah. number one is independence. Yeah, at least. Number two, have big bum bum. It's a good feature. The person, the person needs to be beautiful at least. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not that beautiful. I'm not <laughs> handsome. <laughs> the, the, the girls should be at least for, for, the, for the future of your children. Man. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, wants to, everyone wants to give it to beautiful kids. Now. <laughs> and then, uh, what do you know? So? Hmm? You are. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to the other guys there. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm lazy. They want that feature. I need one tall, black, fine. Yeah. You know that one's general. General this Tall and black. But forget all those things. If you get money. Oh! <laughs> Amen. Who, 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 who's got the money? Who that's what Even if you're ugly, they'll follow you if you got the money. So that's just mm-hmm. one thing standard. <laughs> Number three. Mm, what I do for that for? Do you love your craft? Yeah. Really? M- most especially if she's actually in the same, same field. You don't mind? Yeah, that that's one. See, if you see a girl who's Both into tech... Both of you will just be having back pain. No, 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 not back pain. <laughs> okay. If you see a girl who's into tech, you can yeah. easily relate with her. She knows, like, a tech person or a tech person, while, maybe let me say, tech person loves you. Tech person also loves their gadget. If you want to get a tech person, let me just say, go to that. Just take that. If you smash your computer, ah. Uh, Mm. That seems like someone someone is dead. Mm. That's like the, um, let me say content creator smash their phone. Gosh. If you want to get that person, like let me say an Uber yeah. driver sees his car. Mm. So that that's one thing that they love. So that thing that's what gives them joy. In any tech <clears throat> any tech person, any editor, whatever they are, they are gadget, what they're actually using to actually make them feel happy. If you just take that in a way, that's like you you getting them. So if you actually get someone who's actually into the same field with you. Yeah. You guys can easily relate. Ideas can easily pass through. Definitely. So, yeah. There might be times where you might be short of ideas. And it's Personally, just sense something. Exactly. Inspiration will just kick exactly. start. It's very easy for you guys to connect because you Definitely. know, okay, you know, you can easily say, okay, can you, this is, have you seen this stuff? Oh, she also has an, her own idea about the stuff and then you guys can easily just um communicate. That's one easy part. Yeah. All your, of all your videos and your content, yeah. which one is the most difficult one that you've done and how long did it take you and then why do you think it was really very tasking for you? The first, the most difficult, I, I don't know that. And tasking. I think if, for every of my new video, it's always difficult. The task mm. is always higher than the other one because I, I want to make sure that when you see this my video today and then you come back, you see There's the There's an improvement. One. Yeah, exactly. So I say for every of my new videos, it's always harder. But the first one that was actually the hardest one, which actually, the one that actually brought me to limelight was the one I did with Master Lee because that was actually my first time doing that kind of video so when, when I was doing the video Master Lee was like I don't know what he's doing but the fact that he's doing this stuff because if you're a VF, VFX artist you might be doing your hand like this what you be doing like this people they, they be like this guy they create what do they do but it's when you finish the work mm. and then you see everything I might come and then start doing like this you might not see anything but when I finish editing you might see me start moving screens moving different stuff moving 3D objects so, but to the normal man, it's just somehow, it's just like this person, maybe this person in the crease or something. <laughs> so, to me, that that was the, that yeah. was my that was the hardest video because it took time because my Hello? laptop back then, the laptop or the computer I was using okay. was very slow. slow. So it took like one, it took, I think it took like two months to make mm. to the point where my master even forgot that. Uh, <laughs> There's a video somewhere. Video. <laughs> so when I sent it to him, I was like, ah, oh, this video. So it's my ah, he oh. liked the video. So when he uploaded the video. Like two, three days later, the video somehow went up. Even on this page, went up. Oh, got wow. like a million views on YouTube. So from there, people started moving to my page and all that. So that was actually the, some of the hardest too. But but one of the most successful. They just yeah, shot you out. To that, that was the first. That was my first video in Lagos, and that was the first video that actually went viral back then. There's a game called This or That. Okay. So, and then it's just for you to choose. 
Yeah. Why are you still getting your inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Egusi or Bono? Is it um I prefer is it the okra or bono or bono? Because that's two I, I see actually see two. Okay, okay. Oh bono, okay. Oh bono is the one they do that. Is it oh bono? Oh bono, okay. No, I, I prefer Egusi. Egusi, okay. iPhone or Samsung? Ah, iPhone. What about as an editor? Is it iPhone? Hmm. As a content creator, is it iPhone? Is it iPhone? iPhone. For sure, off, it's still iPhone. <laughs> for sure, for, for camera quality, just iPhone. iPhone just for the camera quality. Okay, that's, it, it covers for content creation. Yeah. Okay, BBL or natural? <clears throat> BBL boss. <laughs> <laughs> Lagos are your village. Ah. In Bayasa, mm. right? You're from uh, Bayasa? Anybody that fix Bayasa, because that person <laughs> is sick. <laughs> because, because because that that you're not Are you green. denying your place. I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm actually. Prince, from, right? I'm actually from Delta, but I was born in Bayasa. Okay, you're from Delta. You're a prince. I'm, I'm not. You <laughs> <laughs> don't know your village. Uh, the, the, the the place the place the Bayasa. If you if, if you're actually there, you you're not gonna grow. It's hard for you. Let me just say you will grow, but that was that's that's the hometown of um the former president Jonathan Kulo, yes, His Excellency. If, yes, it sounds so, so it sounds so cool, but if you get to Bayasa, trust me. Yanagua, yeah. like he has a fine name. Yanagua. When you get there, and I will never go, no go, no. Do you guys swim a lot? Swim. Uh, I, you have Kenu there a lot. Yeah, Kenu is there. River, when, when it's floor season, floor comes up. And then. The place is actually do do it. Okay. Good, but when it comes to entertainment, it's down. The only thing that I, that, that's really because bad there is politics. Some of you ran away because you were there to build I, I had to run away because Im- imagine, imagine I was there for over 20 something years. I was there for like 20 years. And then I was creating content since like 2015, 11, and nothing was happening. I got to Lagos, and my first video I created in Lagos skyrocketed. Mm. It took me like like almost four years to gain 10,000, is it 5,000 followers on Facebook or 10,000 followers on Facebook? But I got to Lagos, I did one video, and my followers moved from 10,000 followers to like 40,000 in less than two months. So Lagos then. <laughs> Lagos, <laughs> generally, Lagos in Nigeria, entertainment is Lagos. So okay. nobody wants to stay in yeah. most of other states. But the expectation in Bayasa is really high because of the kind of money and it's producing yeah. oil, oil that's Definitely. like serving the full mm-hmm. country. Those places, so it's somehow. So I will not choose. I choose Lagos. All right. Would you like to shoot in a beach or a club? Beach. Tell us. Because Why? it's it's beautiful. Okay. Club, club is just you see that light. Club is when maybe you just want all those bikini people. Okay. Is this stripper <laughs> vibe? That's what it gives when it's in the club. Living room or the bedroom? <laughs> what, what, what are we doing living in the bedroom? What, what, uh, what do you do? What do you usually okay, do? Okay, okay. Living room or Anyway, bedroom? it depends on how the spirit leads. <laughs> okay. School or skills? Skill, 100. So school is a scam. School is not a scam, but um, current situation, like global, people pre- uh, prefer experience and what you're skilling. So if... If you knew what you know today, you would have gone to school. Well, I did not go to school. Just scrap it up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Because 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 what's actually happening? So how like, do you develop all of the skills you have? Social media is there. One thing people need to understand is that once you already got the skill, and then you can start selling yourself on social media. Once people start seeing you, they'll come for you. And once you're not regular, because like let me just say this: this VFX stuff I'm actually doing. It's actually somehow new to Nigeria. They've actually been doing yeah. it before, but right now it's, it's actually... It's really not good. as pronounced as it yeah, gets Yeah, and for you to even wave. get into that field, for you to, you need to get the gadget, get the stuff, get the stuff. Mm. So it's not that easy to get in, but once you get into it and then you know how to create content with it, start collaborating with it, you definitely you, you meet up. Do you regret? No, I don't regret. I have a lot of people that are actually going to school and then they, their, pays out, their payout is actually somehow... Imagine finishing, finishing school and then graduating and then they're paying 50k as salary. Why, while, while to you, that fifty k is something you can just use to chill in one, <laughs> in one city. <laughs> it's it's too small. It's okay. too small. So I have a friend who's a graduate, and then she said they're paying her sixty k. She has been complaining that she wants to start her own business. Mm. So I was thinking that I was thinking that if someone has hold you back, then all the money we're spending is free. She's oh. starting the mm. yeah. mm. But simple. if now are you? Do you look forward to going to school if you have the opportunity? What's the point? The the okay, school. just develop the skills. What's yeah, the yeah. point? Okay. Mainland or island? Island. I defer mainland. <laughs> what <it> happen? <laughs> Why? Because it's somehow, it's not like, the only thing I, why, why I prefer mainland, I think maybe just your yeah, water. Clean water. I feel like island is So are safer. you saying 
the island water is like what do you mean did you see <laughs> and see I, fact, there was one time a bit what i saw saying seeing white stuff my what do you mean even, what do you mean islanders skin. come for him ah. <laughs> why, why are they using such water to bath People, sometimes people buy a bag of water to take your heart. Uh, oh, no. You can't even drink that water. It's bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's so I prefer island. I prefer island because of the security and then um, some of the, the beautiful environment to make okay. content because you don't want to make video in those places, those tra- trenches somewhere and then you're coming back and then it's take your gadgets from me. <laughs> that's true. Who showed you? Yeah. Okay, take care your bike. It depends on who's driving. Hey, who is, <laughs> who is driving? Oh, who is riding it? Okay, if it's a woman riding cake or is a woman riding by which one will you? Um, I prefer no one time I prefer cake because even if it collides with anything, you are much safer. But if it's bike, it's you. Your yep. spirit just goes straight. <laughs> v- VSF. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> no, it is now. Tinubu or Bari? I beg. None of them, but I would prefer Buhari I beg. <laughs> <laughs> at least, at least dollar was, they, they were not, they were not going to charge content creator for anything. <laughs> but now, <laughs> dollar I beg, <laughs> we pay tax. Netflix or Prime? Mm, Netflix. Mm. Amazing. Thank you so much. So, have you been inspired? What you wanted to do? Yeah, have you been inspired? Mm, there are different things I'm seeing though. Okay. But I have to capture and then, but is it something we could just do with, um, within the space and the camera while the camera is rolling? Mm. And then we'll show the final outlook. Is there anything we can do? I, I probably have to st- stand back and then look at what I can actually do. Okay. It, might, it might be something on post-production and then it might post it later. Okay. So it might not be live. So don't worry, um, guys. He will just give something that you we see very soon and just see how very skillful he is in his field. Right about now, it's a wrap from us at Yeah Yeah Talk Podcast. I hope you enjoyed this moment with Victor because I did. I had fun and I learned as well. Signing off, but before we go, uh, what will be your final words to the viewers and to your fans? Mm, I'll say, um, if you have a dream or you have passion for something, you must have the challenges or the people that actually try to stop you you should actually focus on your dream because most times when you actually start something, I remember when I started, it wasn't easy. A lot of people were actually laughing at me. Mm. Like I said, when I was actually making videos, when I started doing stuff on the street and then me and my younger brother and then we started doing stuff like, like what, are, what are these guys <laughs> doing? If I tell them VFX, they were like, what's VFX? By the end of the day, when they start seeing the end results, it was actually yeah. cool. They started liking the stuff. So those were, those were actually laughing. They were actually like, wow, they were wow by the end yeah, result. Wow. So if you have a dream and then something and then even the challenges might be tough or something you just have to focus on your dream and then yeah focus on your dream Dream. and it's a bye from me to you till next time